What is going on guys? Ultimate Deadpool here, back with another video. I'm sorry I've been gone for a few weeks, uh, or a few days, or whatever. Um, I've been really stressed out here at home. Um, I'll explain this in, a sec in another video later this week. Um, but this video is going to be broken up into two parts. We're going to deal with the uh, action figure stuff first in this video, and then we're going to go on to the Lego stuff in part two. So there's a bunch of stuff, so let's go ahead and just jump right into things. Okay, scratch that. We're just going to go ahead and do everything all in one shot because this stuff isn't going to, the, this part's not going to take that long. And then the uh, minifigure stuff will go ahead and just boom, 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 boom. This is basically an update video on what the future of the channel is going to bring. So without further ado, um, we have four Ninja Turtles in front of us. We have the four uh, 1990s uh, Jim Henson Creature Shop Ninja Turtles as well as my... Uh, custom Ninja Turtle Metalhead, which is probably one of my most popular characters I've ever created, if not my most popular. Um, and these four, these five characters are going to appear in one of my next one of my next stop motion videos, um, which is kind of going to be a continuation of a previous series that I started. Uh, it was the Deadpool Time and Space uh, series. Uh, so that that kind of gives you a little bit of insight to what this next video is going to hold. Um, Deadpool is going to travel to a reality where the Ninja Turtles are here. Uh, and they look just like this. Uh, and Metalhead is going to be there. And he's Metalhead is going to be shown to be brutal. Um, I would do it in Lego form, but there's only so much you can do with Lego. And since this thing has like ridiculous amounts of posability and so do these things it's it's gonna work way better in anime or action figure animated form if it's not part of that it's just gonna be metalhead's brutality or something so that way you guys know just how brutal metalhead can be uh so that way when i start using him more often you know you guys fear for the characters who are on the screen and no, oh crap, you know, he's th these guys are not going to get out of here in one piece or something like that. So that's what Metalhead's presence is supposed to be. I've never been quite able to manage that. I think I managed it on the original channel, but unfortunately since that channel no longer exists, newcomers on this channel don't know how brutal this character can actually be. So that's pretty much what this video, that video would be about. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, when it comes out, so stay tuned for that. Hopefully, it'll be good. So, actually, I know it's going to be good because everybody, <laughs> damn it, everybody seems to love Metalhead. So that video will probably be coming out later this week. Um, and like I said, um, hopefully, it'll give a little bit more of a edge to uh, Metalhead's character, and we'll hopefully make you know the audience feel fear for the characters that are on screen like the good guys and everything else because it's going to show how violent metalhead can actually be so let's keep going all right so let's go ahead and get into the minifigure stuff we have on a very technicality three brand new minifigures um two of which have already appeared before uh and then the third one we'll get into Technically, if you want to get really technical, we have four brand new minifigures. So obviously we have a T-Rex, which is great. Um, I like Jurassic Park and T-Rex is always one of my favorite dinosaurs from that uh, franchise. So um, I've already heard mixed reviews about Jurassic World Dominion. Um, some of you guys might not know this. I'm not a big fan of the Jurassic World uh, movies. I think they're basically not, I wouldn't say cheap imitations of the originals but I just don't think that they top I don't think there's a single Jurassic World film that tops any of the original sequels and that's that's saying something because nobody liked Jurassic Park 3 or 2 but that's just me I know there's a lot of people who like the Jurassic World films and like that's what introduced them to the franchise I just personally never got into them. Like I watch them, I enjoy some of uh, I enjoy some of the moments in them, so that's why I sometimes rewatch them. But to me, Jurassic World was just never one of those film franchise or you know sequels that made me excited for the next one. So like I've I, I've already seen some of the stuff for Dominion, 
Fallen Kingdom was okay, but it wasn't great. And then Jurassic World was meh. Like, that, I just, I could never get into those. So, anyway, we have a T-Rex now. So, <coughs> definitely expect the T-Rex in upcoming videos. Um, but then we also have uh, Freddy Krueger. Now, you guys have seen this version of Freddy before. He appeared in the uh, Krueger film on the old channel. Uh, he's got the newest uh, charred Anakin face because um, I thought that was fitting. And he also has his blades and whatnot. So this version of Freddy Krueger is actually going to come back or make a comeback in Krueger uh, whenever I make that later this summer. If I have time to do it this summer, I'll do it this summer. If not, uh, then it'll be my first big project um, for the fall closer to October where Hall when it's actually going to be Halloween time. So if Kruger does not come out this summer, it'll definitely come out uh, around October. So, uh, and then we have a ghost. Uh, this is now my, this is actually my first ghost. And I think this is the Scooby-Doo ghost because when you take the helmet off, uh, you have, there's a balaclava face behind it and it looks oddly enough like the second villain ever to appear uh, in any Scooby-Doo episode when they're on the Haunted Island or whatever. Uh, and then it's like an evil magician or whatever who's looking for treasure or something like that. That his face, This minifigure face just looks oddly like that. So I'm assuming this is supposed to be the ghost from Scooby-Doo. I'm not 100% sure. They've used this ghost mold for so many things now. It's ridiculous. Um, <clears throat> but definitely expect the ghost... Uh, to appear in a few videos as well. Um, now, this is a little odd. <clears throat> this is going to be Gravity Man's um, space suit uh, that he's going to use at the beginning of the film uh, when it is made, which hopefully was uh, not before too much longer. Um, so his suit has honestly gone through so many different changes, it's ridiculous, uh, which is one of the reasons why I've never, like, I haven't remade the film yet is because I've been trying to make you know the characters look the way I think they should look uh, make them a little bit more modernized and make them a little look a little bit better <coughs> so you know that's where this suit comes into place this is going to be obviously where he gets his in abilities and blah 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 so expect to see this version of Gravity Man in the Gravity Man movie um now, you guys have been begging, for, be begging me, like literally begging me uh, to make this character. I have finally perfected this, well, I may not have perfected the character, but I made the character a long time ago. This is Jim Carrey's Stanley Ipkiss The Mask, um, which is something you guys have been absolutely begging me for for months, uh, if not years, for me to make The Mask. Um, why, I still don't know, but... You guys have absolutely been begging me to do this for a long, long time. Um, and I finally have figured out a way to make it work. The biggest thing I was trying to do is because he wears a yellow zoot suit. I know that those have the tail flaps that go on the front and back of the body. And I was trying to figure out a way to make that work. And I think I figured it out. Um, eventually, I may go ahead and make a separate uh, second piece uh, that fits over his body. So that way I can connect... Uh, the tail fins over here uh, so that way it still looks it's all in one piece because uh, I think they're all in one piece I don't think an actual zoot suit just has the flaps in the front and then they split over to the back I think it's all one piece um, <clears throat> but definitely expect uh, the mask to appear in several videos most of them are going to be Deadpool related um, so pretty much if Deadpool's on screen you can expect the mask to show up somewhere um so, that's pretty much it on this video. Um, I don't know why the hell I thought it was going to need to be two parts long. Um, so, like I said, there is going to be a uh, standard Metalhead video uh, coming out, basically showing how brutal that character can be. So that way newcomers to the channel can see that video and be like, anytime Metalhead's on screen, whether it be action figure form, minifigure form, or whatever, you're going to fear for the characters that he's interacting with because, you know, you're going to be like, oh my god, like, this guy is super brutal, what is he going to do to this character? 
and that's the presence that Metalhead is supposed to bring. So I had that in the original channel, uh, but since you know it got, you know, you guys know what happened. Um, it kind of Metalhead kind of lost that fear factor. So I'm trying to bring Metalhead back uh, to where he's actually a um, fearful or fearing character. Uh, so like when he's any time, it's, it's basically like when you see Darth Vader in a Star Wars film, you know shit's about to go get real because you fear for the people who Vader's going to interact with just because Vader's that brutal. That's the kind of feeling that I want Metalhead to bring. So that's why I'm going to go ahead and make this video uh, titled Metalhead's Brutality so that way people can see, hey, this is how this character is supposed to be portrayed. And now anytime that you guys see him from now on, you'll be like, oh my god, this guy, this, per this person, you know, needs to leave. This person needs to, you know, either stand up and fight or do something or, you know, be on guard or whatever because otherwise they're not going to walk out with, you know, all their bones and body parts intact because, you know, I hate to do it to the Jim Henson Creature Shop Turtles, but if it's not them, then it's definitely going to be the video game looking turtles. But honestly, I think it's going to be the Jim Henson Creature Shop just because I feel like I can animate those better anyway. So, uh, just keep an eye out for that video, hopefully coming out later this week. And, uh... Like I said, uh, some of my video series are going to be returning, so the ones that I didn't finish, like Deadpool's Time and Space uh, video and a couple of others, expect to have those series come back and finally actually get finished. Um, Kruger is going to be coming out hopefully either this summer, or if it's not this summer, it'll be closer towards October. Uh, Gravity Man is probably going to be coming out hopefully either later this summer uh, or closer to Christmas um, or at shortly after uh, Halloween and then the mask is going to appear in a couple of videos the ghost is going to show up in a couple of videos the T-Rex is going to show up in a couple of videos and I'm going to try to start doing more stop motion animating uh, more frequently I just haven't had time to do it because I have literally been uh, non-stop busy um, for the last six seven weeks so it's been hell <laughs> but um, hopefully things will start to die back down and I hope I can start making more videos uh, if not I will let you guys know what my plan is afterwards and we'll go from there so uh, anyway thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little updated video and I will catch you guys all later on Ultimate Deadpool. Peace out. I'll catch you guys all later. Bye.